Hey everyone! I know it's been a really long time since I did an updated video, probably like seven or eight months, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, this video is mainly for my YouTube followers uh, to know and see that I'm doing well because I get so many great messages from people and support and saying how inspiring I am. I'm just being me because when I first started this, and the whole reason I'm doing these videos is when I got diagnosed with cancer, it's it was scary and I tried to search on YouTube for, you know, the type of cancer I have, Ewing sarcoma. And all that showed up were videos of, you know, memory of or people that have passed away. That was really sad. And it, or like some scientific explanation of what Ewing sarcoma is. Well, that's not what I wanted. I wanted somebody, you know, sharing their story and making me feel better that I'll be okay. Because what people don't tell you is that just because you get cancer does not mean that you're going to die. And uh, that's that's the whole point. <laughs> because ne never in a second did I think that I was going to die. Um, it was just scary. So to keep everybody updated... Uh, I finished my last chemotherapy cycle three weeks ago, a uh, total of 17 cycles, 52 days of treatment, uh, six to seven hour long days, and I had surgery last September, um, and here I am. I'm going to have one more procedure done. Uh, it's going to be a stem cell harvesting or stem cell collection, whatever you want to call it, and this is just in case my cancer does ever come back, I'm going to have that in reserve for a bone marrow transplant because the procedure is so intense. I'd rather have it in reserve than be on like a donor list or need to ask somebody else for it. So this is going to consist of me getting a catheter inserted in my chest and it's just another thing because I already have a port in this side. They're going to insert a catheter in this side tomorrow. So um, that's okay though. And then two shots a day, and then like the harvesting consists of blood basically. So they're gonna take out blood and put blood back in. Um, and after that, I should be done. And after that, I'll be getting back into the real world, hopefully, getting some hair. <laughs> um, a lot has changed over the past 15 months. Uh, I've changed a lot of things people don't tell you that happen with cancer. I'll probably post another video in regards to that. Um, if you have questions, anybody have anything, please feel free to message me. I'll try to do another video with answers, or I'll directly message you guys back. Um, thank you for watching over time. Uh, if anybody is interested in either donating or going for the 5K walk, there's a sarcoma research walk being organized by patients here in St. Louis, October 5th. Um, I'll post a link underneath my video. You can join my team, feel free. And uh, just make sure you wear a superhero shirt because that's, that's what it, <laughs> I love superheroes. So uh, please feel free to message me, donate, help make a difference, and people that get what I have or just the sarcoma in general. My doctor is one of the 40 doctors in the nation that specializes in this. So I appreciate everything. Thank you guys for watching.